What's going on everyone? The much anticipated how the heck do you do blitz mode? This is going to be from the beginning. You see I was uh, only on blitz 2 there, 4 stars in. I want you to look at the top leaderboard real quick. The only bad thing about this is it's pay to play or pay to win. Uh, you can see here most of the epics are level 3 or 4. Most of the cards are the rare that he has level 5. All the action cards level 5. So the way Blitz works is it's super, super boosted the more you level your guys up. So again, if you have a crap ton of cards, you're going to do really good in Blitz mode. Now, me being a beginner and only level 21, it's going to be a little different. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, card filtering here is important. So what we're going to do is start out with action cards first. And I do this, and this is a smart way to do it, and this is why the fast way to get through the beginning of a lot of Blitz is start with action cards. So I'm using first aid since I don't have regenerative spores. If you have regenerative spores, that should be your number one heal card. I'm going to use chain lightning, which is a great all damaging card, as well as hell carrier strike. Everyone should have these cards. It is storming behind me. Wow. Um... And then I'm using Lightning Storm. It was like perfect timing for that, right? <laughs> lightning Storm comes down and a literal Lightning Storm comes behind me. It's a good epic card. Once you level it up, it's one of the better ones. Um, you'll see the how I put them here. So take a look at that as we go along. Now what you're looking for here is the thing. You're looking for synergy. Usually that if you have the highest cards in synergy, I'm showing you right now my Avengers. That's usually what you want to go for. So... I sort by attack and hit points and then I look and see what are my top cards and what's the highest synergy based on what I have. Everyone's different obviously. So those first three are pretty obvious. My second, third, and fourth strongest all around are Avengers. So now I'm trying to decide what do I want after this. Um, I'm deciding to go all Avengers except for the final card and the final card just put your biggest card because he's going to be the last one standing and he's going to need to do a lot. As far as leaders, you can pick anything you want. Pick any leader, they're just for cool looks. Uh, none of the cards, none of the character cards have any abilities. They're just stat whores. That's all they are. They're just there for stats. So we're going into this and it's kind of fast paced but you have to really look ahead. So they have three guys. If you look at the top there before the portal, they have three character cards that are going to go in the game. I'm not starting with three, and the reason being, if you have three character cards on the board, you don't draw your next card, which would be, for instance, for them, their Hell Carrier Strike, as you see. So they don't have an action card yet. And action cards are extremely needed in Blitz. So in the beginning stages, I, I don't. I usually do that. Now you're seeing me click and hold first aid up. It's not ready to go yet because I only have one fragment. Every single round, you get a fragment. So you'll see the fragment start building every round. I'm, I healed my guy. So he doesn't have any action cards, so they're just going to keep beating each other up. And now they went down. Now I know that he's going to get an action card and then another character card based on what's next in the portal. So my two cards that I have for action cards are, they kill everybody, so I don't want to use them quite yet. And again, they're really low hit points. I'm going to drop it now. Now this was bad timing, so you got to make sure you drop it before they attack, because now I kill their guys and they drop in. We're going to get way more on that. I know this beginning part is really fast paced, I'm trying to show you the layout of it. and and how everything works so just keep in mind every round you get a fragment and you only get your you draw a card if there's an open spot on your board you'll get the next card and it'll go to your next um, character card so anyway that was the first fight we kicked their butt again because we had action cards to spread out and they couldn't use any right away so we're gonna go into a few more um, at five stars now and again, I'm going to talk more about the timing this time. There's a certain time you want to drop your action cards. Ooh, a Blitz 4 guy called Thick Baby. So again, all all character cards. So we don't, and then a health, oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. It's really storming bad. Um, 
all action cards in my hand he has one way down the line so I'm not worried at all so I'm gonna heal my guys they're gonna be strong enough to kick their guys' butts and I have my two action cards ready to go now chain lightning is special you have to drop it on one of the ends if you saw me there I dropped it on Killmonger so that way it would lightning strike all the way across if I would have dropped it on Black Bolt kinda like I did right there for my Hellstorm carrier or Hell Carrier Strike it would only hit two people so you gotta make sure when you're using chain lightning that you drop it on one side of the board so it chains all the way through to the other side a lot of people make that mistakes and you'll actually see that one of this one of these videos here so notice that I'm dropping the action card as soon as I get it before they attack and that's for one reason to save my guys a little bit and the second reason is there's a couple ways to win in blitz one you do enough damage to them to kill them the other way is you kill all of their guys and you have one guy left standing the third way is if both of you kill all of your guys if everyone's dead the person with the highest amount of hit points left wins so the reason the timing of dropping the action cards is so important is because if you drop it before they attack your guys will attack them and theirs all died okay so we're gonna take one more look at it now well we'll take a, a few more looks because again I'm, I'm dropping a lot of information right now so we're facing noob five seven six eight right now again three character cards look at their deck ahead of time and see what they have everything's in order nothing special nothing's changed okay so they're doing damage to us but I'm not worried about it again they don't have any action cards I'm gonna be able to heal my guys we will win this fight notice that I had my card click and dragged up there ready to go if you don't do that and you're slow you'll probably miss the turn and you don't want to do that okay so now watch my action cards they're attacking right when their character card comes in you can see me ready for it oh, I drop it right away and here's why if I kill one of their guys then I get to attack just like I did now the other example of that will be if I drop it after they attack and then that will be the non good way but this is before they attack again and look there's nobody for my guys to hit so we get to attack I wait for their card to come in I drop another action card on it deals 2600 damage and I attack again they have nobody left or golden but even if he were to use that action card to kill all three of my guys I would still win because I have 870 hit points left and he had like 30 alright so I'm hoping I'm hoping this repetitive stays with you um, I'm gonna cancel real quick because I did um, you know what let's just go into one more I want to show you a couple different styles of decks but I'll keep it here for now all right so again we're looking it's all character cards so not worried about it my little Roomba is coming in to to talk to me here here shut off there we go okay so they're attacking we're gonna use the same exact style here we're not, nothing changes in this part of it you wanna try to have a heal in the beginning it's it's really useful preferably the regenerative spores like I said because it's a zero cost okay so now if I dropped it right now it would be bad now I'm gonna show you this example here so they're gonna throw a character card in Iron Man's gonna beat up vision so I don't want to spend an action card because he's so low on hit points but now I'm about to I wait right when the card drops in you drop the action card that ensures that it happens before they attack everyone's dead again I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting three more cards drop it okay so have your card ready and notice I dropped chain lightning on the right side so it went all the way through so now he's only gonna have one on the board and two action cards I attack he kills my one guy another guy comes in so notice he did it afterwards because of that he didn't get to attack and now I have people coming in and a low battery and that's the one stupid thing about lightning storm is sometimes it does like 2,000 to one guy and nothing to the other 
Sharpshooter Arrow I hope to replace soon, because it's, uh, it's okay, but you want something that does multiple enemies most of the time. Alright, so we kick their butt again pretty easy, and it's not because I have better cards. I mean, you saw how many epics. It's because I have more action cards I know how to use it. We went up a level to 22, great. Now I can do uh, more stuff, which is fun. Let's... Um, Right here, I want to edit my deck a little bit and show you guys a couple different ways to do it. So let's say I started with uh, all three up, just like they've been doing. No, I don't want to do that, because you've seen that. So let's instead start with two up, an action card, and then the guy. So the way you, you set up your deck, wherever your third guy appears, you won't get any action cards after that unless they kill your guy. So we're going against Blitz 4, Black Death here. He has uh, four character cards in Chain Lightning. Again, not many action cards, so we're going to be just fine. If we do it this way, we'll take less damage in the beginning, and we'll have a first aid. Now, we won't have any damaging spells or action cards, so we're, we would hope that they didn't have any to kill us. All right, so now you notice I can't draw Chain Lightning. It won't let me. And this is the reason I don't like having all character cards up front, because now I can't get an action card until they kill my guys. So they dropped Chain Lightning at the wrong time, and it wouldn't have mattered, because he... Notice it just did two. It just did Ant-Man and Iron Man, because he dropped it right in the middle. Notice I dropped it on the right. It's going to kill all their guys. Well, not all of them, but I'm going to get to attack. He gets two more on. They attack. Now I'm going to show you the wrong way here. Did I do it in time? I was trying to do it late, but I don't think I did, did I? Nope, I did them both in time. Never mind. That's the right way to do it. <laughs> and he has no cards left, so I win the game. He just has action cards. I have a bunch of guys left who are solid. So starting with two guys is okay, but again, you only get one action card doing it that way. Um, so I'm not too happy with that so let's go try another version to show you guys and let's just start with um, let's say one guy up if I can set it up properly look at me I'm not doing too well if I do yeah we'll do it this way just to show you that it's kind of the same exact thing no matter where your action card is, whether it's the very first one, the very you know the second one, the third one, it's going to be the same outcome. So we're going to get two characters on the board and a first aid right away. This guy has a couple action cards next, but he's not going to get to use them until his guys are dead. So another guy comes in, I'm ready to do first aid the second that I turn two fragments, which is there. Heal all my guys up, nice and juicy. And you gotta constantly look at the hit points. So right now, they only have very little hit points, so I'm not gonna drop an action card. And I'm still not, well, he has two more hits left. So I'm still not going to. Now, this guy has a lot of action cards ready to go, so he's ready to be pumped up. Again, dropped it at the wrong time. He could have did more damage. Uh, let's... Let's drop Chain Lightning. This is the wrong time to do it. Watch. I drop Chain Lightning late. So I'm going to kill his guys. But I have nobody attacking because I dropped at the wrong time, which is dumb. So I'm dropping it ahead of time now to kill both of them. So I get to attack. So I hope I'm hammering that point through because it's very important in Blitz. You want to do as much damage as you can because once you face somebody that's really equal to you and knows how to do it, it really comes down to the last guy and it comes down to how much damage did you do to the other guy so it's very important to play this way now again if he killed all my guys right there because he had a bunch of action cards left he could have I would have still won because I had more hit points than him alright so let's go back again and this time we'll do just um, we'll do one character card two action cards yep there we go okay let's do it this way so now you're gonna see I'm gonna get two action cards off the top and this is one of my favorite ways to do it 
and it's because you're getting a healing card and a damaging card and you can really do whatever you want with it again we're facing a guy with a bunch of just character cards so don't do that guys <laughs> definitely don't do that take my advice put some action cards in there have some fun the key is just getting used to when to put the cards down knowing what they have you can constantly look up there's time look up and see what cards are coming next look at the attack of your guys versus the hit points of theirs so I'm gonna drop it here cuz he still has 600 hit points left and because I dropped it before they attacked I get to do some damage he's got three more guys I have zero action cards left but I'm still satisfied with what happened so now I gotta wait till one of my guys dies and I'll draw a hell carrier I could have dropped it there I probably should have but now I'm gonna wait till his card appears and then drop it alright so wait till their card gets drawn before you drop it so there's a very there's a half a second in between when the card was drawn and when they attack so I drop Lightning Storm, and before they attack, so I get to do two more hits here. And then Captain America's fighting on, but poor guy, he's uh, outmatched here. So the Blood Prince got his butt kicked. My victory is imminent. He doesn't talk like that, he talks like a little... My victory is imminent. Anyway, we're still going on here, so I'm, I'm hoping you're, you're understanding a little bit. And this is actually one of my favorite ways to do it. What I did get is Smart Missile. This is a great card. Smart Missile and um, the other one that's two costs with the Iron Man. I forgot what the heck it's called. I showed it in the very beginning. It's a good card. Um, I'm going to get rid of Sharpshooter Arrow because it does the same amount of damage, but, but to two people. It is another cost, but that's why I put it at the end so I have enough fragments. You got to pay attention to the cost of your cards and how many fragments you're going to be getting throughout. You don't want a bunch of three cost action cards. Um, a lot of people use the Ultron card at the very end because by then you usually have three fragments to do it. I don't have that card leveled up at all. So just remember this, this game is a lot of, I mean, like I said, the more, the higher level each card is, the way more drastic that they do damage in their hit points. Like it goes up pretty heavily. So again, if you have a lot of money and, and you're buying a lot of cards, you're probably going to do way better at Blitz than other people. So I drop the action card at the right time. I'm right, right when they drop. They only have two guys, so I'm not going to do it because I know their next card is an action card. But of course I dropped it early. So I killed them and look what happens. Because I dropped it late, now three guys come in and none of my guys got to do damage. So learn from my mistakes, <laughs> and don't do that. And that could have been, this game could have been a lot closer if, um, you know, it was someone that had significant a significant deck, so. Alright, the other thing is when there's cards at the end, notice he moved to attack. If there's just a couple cards left, they will move to fight each other. That way, it's not just hitting, hitting, hitting. All cards, character cards, come in randomly on the board. They don't always fall in a specific place on the board. Uh, that's I guess the main thing I keep forgetting to tell you is when you set up Blitz, your deck, it's in order of how you set it up. So that's kind of the main key. I don't know why I didn't say that before, but it's how you set it up. So every single card will come in the order that you place your deck. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot. Please let me know if you have any questions. I figured I'd show you uh, some leveling up stuff that I did so I'm completing stage 10 here 1-10 of spec ops here to show you where you get the spider-man leader and it looks like I have to defeat the opponent leader in t eight turns avoid a battle attack and only kill him in one line so the way I set up my decks for this is I have a bunch of damage dealing cards when they enter the game. It helps out, it saves action cards. I do have action cards as well. But I want to make sure that most of my cards, actually I think all of them, do damage when they come in except for Mailkith who does damage every round instead. So we're just going through, it's pretty simple. Especially because I've been blessed with some okay cards here. 
and he does damage after I kill him. I have to avoid a battle line, so I'm going to sub out. Maybe I can get Ant-Man and drop him right down here. Please give me Ant-Man. I did not get Ant-Man. <laughs> War Machine does it to the lowest attack, so that'll be um, Lady. So that'll kill her. And now I'm set up for a battle line, but they're going to use Common Enemy like a jerk. And sorry, I don't have it. I have it on battery save mode, so you're not going to see cool animations right now. Just because you saw I was at 20%. <laughs> There's Ant-Man when you need him. So I'll drop him down here. Um, yeah, right here. I could have did a battle line, but I still have four more rounds to do one. It's pretty simple in the beginning. Again, this is chapter one in Spec Ops, and it's in normal mode. So it's uh, very simple. Nothing hard at all about it and we're just one kill away I have techno I have common enemy no matter who he puts down we're gonna kill him and I will do techno so I can drop down either guy now I do want to kill their people I can drop them in either one you get a little extra experience as you see there I'll kill him and I didn't get anything <laughs> Most of the time you get experience. Okay, so there you go. I completed it. And now I'll get the Spider-Man leader card. And we'll take a look at what he does after the beautiful, pretty animation that we get for getting a new card. And there he is. So, 200 additional hit points. On every turn, if two or more enemies are recharging on the battlefield, take one cosmic fragment from the opponent comes in handy if they attack you. Oh, what do we have available? Hard mode is now available. Complete the challenging stages to earn more stuff. Alright, what Spider-Man is good for, a couple things. If they attack you, that puts three recharging guys on the board you get to steal. Here's hard mode. The other one is using death, because Lady Death will um, recharge two opponents and you can get a fragment that way, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we have a card collections here, so let's pop open these, and they're all common, so I'm just going to skip ahead. I got uh, Gwenpool, which I think you guys have seen, but she's pretty useful. Uh, let's upgrade her. She does 200 damage, and now 220 for upgrading her per um, fragment count. Love it. And then we have two uncommons, it looks like, so we can pop those open and see what we got. Shroud, when knocked out, capture a nearby enemy on the left or right and vanish them. Pretty useful card. Almost like Cloak in uh, Korath. When a character is knocked out, at 70 attack and 30 hit points. It was one of the cooler, newer cards that we were messing around with, but it's really not better than any other card. So, just showing you normal mode. I actually have more cards here to pop open, and they're all common, so just skip them. Escaped inmate was the best card. Wow. And two more uncommon, so let's pop them open. Uh, that was our first Outrider Warrior? Okay. Interesting. Oh, just one. That's normal mode for you. So there you go, guys. I showed you um, a little bit at the end. We actually have some in our mail that... I want to check, unless that's it, nope, yep, I want to check a little bit in our mail here, because I have been kind of saving it up, we got a bunch of commons, I'll just show you quick, real quick, um, I want to thank you guys for requesting a couple videos, letting me know what you guys want to see, because that helps me out, so like this Blitz video was long coming, so I hope you really enjoyed what I had to say on it. I hope you learned a lot. If there's any questions you have based on what I didn't say, please let me know. I can answer them right away for you. Uh, these are all just gems and stuff that I've been getting and a bunch of crap comments. So, um, I, Again, I, I appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Make sure you please like. Oh, snap. I forgot. It's been seven days. That means we get an epic, and if it's suppressive fire, I'm gonna, that's the only card I really want. Oh my god! Let's go! Suppressive fire, are you freaking... Sorry if I got overmodulated. Oh my god, the best action card in the game, by far, I believe. So many uses for it. 
I'm going to be pimping this card out for you guys in the future just to show you guys how amazing it is. Wow, we just got the luckiest epic pull that I've... Oh, I'm so happy now. So happy. Not only did you get amazing Blitz content, but you got a freaking the best epic card there is for action. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.